What we see in Austria is that the scope conditions for the far right have been perfect. You have a weak ground coalition government, you have been talking about immigration, the European question and national identity. So all these factors are given which should be beneficial to the far right. And in this very climate, they do not face a very solid candidate from the center, but they face, say, a political extreme from the, from the Greens, you might say from the far left in this respect. And in this very discursive setting where everything speaks in favor of the far right, in fact, the far right cannot carry the win back home. So in fact, I do think this might be the perfect situation for the far right. The far right in Austria could not capitalize on. What you, you're saying that uh, they've hit a, their they've hit their upper limit. Well, I'm not, not suggesting that. However, I want to point out that if you have a look at far right wing movements all across Europe, you see there are certain factors benefiting the electoral rise and others leading or hampering their advances. And all the factors benefiting the far right have been present in Austria the last three or four years. And it might as well be that these factors turn around in the coming years and months and that this might indeed have been a moment for the far right in Austria where the perfect ground were there for them and they couldn't seize the opportunity.